In today's video, I am reviewing the Coco and Eve Sunny Honey Bali Bronzing Foam. I was looking for a self tanner that had natural DHA because I personally don't want to use regular DHA. I was looking to quickly find a self tanner with natural DHA and I came across this one from Coco and Eve. So I did purchase this on Amazon a few days ago and I have now tested it out. So I'm gonna show you guys before and after pictures and then also give you guys, of course, all the details about this, let you know my thoughts about it, if it's worth it or not, if I had any issues using it, all that stuff, how I applied it. So if that interests you, just keep on watching. I'm gonna go ahead and get right into it. Starting off, I did get this on Amazon. It retails for $38, but I did the subscribe and save option. So I got this for $34. It was giving a good a discount for doing subscribe and save. So if you wanna try this out, I would say get it from Amazon, do the subscribe and save, and you can all, always cancel subscribe and save. And this comes in three shades. It comes in their medium shade, which gives the skin a sun-kissed glow, great for lighter skin tones. They also have the dark shade, which is the one that I got, and that is for a back from Vacay Bronze, ideal for medium skin tones. And then they also have an ultra dark shade, which is a deep rich tan for deeper skin tones. So normally I would have gone for the medium shade. That's probably the best shade that would have worked for me with my lighter skin tone. As you can see the difference of my face compared to my body. Can you see the difference? <laughs> but this is actually quite a bit tanner than my face right now. I didn't use any of it on my face, but I did it all over my body. So I wanted to get the dark version just because sometimes when I get the medium version or the lightest version of a um, self tanner, I find that I wanna go in with a whole nother application in order to kind of build up the color a little bit. So I decided to go for the middle shade here and get the dark shade. And this one actually did build up and get, get quite dark and actually I'll explain my whole process of that and how that went. It actually ended up, I ended up leaving it on longer than I intended to, but I'll talk more about that in a moment. But normally I would say medium might be the best for me, if you have a skin, similar skin tone as me, you might prefer to go for the medium shade. However, if you want something that's just gonna be kind of like, you only have to apply it once to get a deeper tan, then you might prefer to go for the dark shade. This has 100% natural DHA. It's vegan, it's silicone free, cruelty free, gluten free, it's ethically sourced, paraben free, and PETA approved. So some of the benefits and ingredients in here, it's said to blur pigmentation and perfect the skin. It has a tropical mango and guava scent no biscuit smell. I thought that was interesting. They said no biscuit smell. I'd never really thought of self tanner to smell like biscuits. If you guys know what that means, let me know. But this says it's supposed to have no bad smells and I will go into that more in when I share my thoughts, but it definitely has a bit of a smell. And like it says here, it is supposed to have a tropical mango and guava scent. It's supposed to have a lightweight and non-sticky formula, which I do very much agree with. When I was using this, it actually dries down quite quickly and it didn't feel super sticky. Obviously, you know, you kind of feel like you still have a self tanner on because you know it's there, um, but I didn't find it like feeling overly heavy and sticky. So that was very nice. I do feel like this dries down quite nice and does feel relatively lightweight on the skin. It's nothing like overly like, I need to get this off of my skin right away type of thing. So fast drying and develops in just two hours. So yes, it does dry quite quickly and it develops in just two hours. So they say that you do wanna leave this on for at least two hours, but if you wanna get an even deeper tan, then leave it on for longer. They say you can wear it overnight. I ended up wearing this longer than I intended to, but it has a color guide technology for an even finish. So the foam does have like a, the color color of the tan in it so you can see where you are applying it. I personally like that just because I feel like it makes it really easy for me to know where I have put the self tanner and just helps me evenly apply it. And it says it developed with a green gray base for a natural looking golden glow with no orangey tones. So that's supposed to help with preventing the orangey tones. And I really don't feel like this looks too orangey. I feel like it just looks like a nice, relatively natural tan. Definitely looks a little bit dark on me. Again, cause I think I put it on for too long. So for me, I was actually, I decided that I was gonna rinse this off after two hours and just kind of give myself a little bit of a bronze. And I did rinse it off in the shower, but I didn't end up using body wash. I just rinsed it off with water and I felt like that was good enough. But in doing that, I didn't fully get the tanner off. So it did kind of continue to develop overnight. So I ended up, I feel like keeping this on for like 15 hours probably. So it did get 
deeper of a tan than I intended it to, but I still think it looks pretty good. It just looks like I have a deeper tan, which is nice. And I feel like that is the tan that you can achieve with the dark shade. Now I did have a little bit of issues. I feel like on my hands, but again, I think that's my mistake because I didn't rinse it off thoroughly. I should have used body wash as well when I was rinsing it off after that two hours, but because I didn't do a good enough job at doing that, I did get a little bit of spots where you can kind of just tell that I have self tanner and I did wash my hands actually. So I feel like this shouldn't have stayed, but it kind of did. Just looks like a little bit patchy around there, but honestly, I feel like people aren't looking that close to my hands and it's not too terrible, but you can see it a little bit there. But overall, I feel like it does look pretty good on my hands, though it does look quite a bit dark and not the most natural on my hands. Other than that, I don't feel like I had any issues with it looking streaky or patchy. Here is a clip of what it looked like before I applied it. So you can see there I am in my pale whiteness. And then here is the after, the two hours after I rinsed this off. Off. So I rinsed off the color guide and this is what it was looking like after just two hours and then like I said that didn't fully get it off so then here is what my skin looks like the next day and the tan did continue to develop some more because now it looks even darker so there is what it looks like now I don't feel like I had I have any like streakiness or patchiness on my overall body my feet didn't turn out looking patchy like they sometimes can they actually look quite good and it looks more natural my only main mistake or part that I think looks the most unnatural is my hands, but overall not terrible. And I think if I rinsed this off better after the two hours, then the tan wouldn't have continued to develop as much. And maybe I wouldn't have had that happen on my hands, but overall not bad. I do like the color of it. I don't think it looks like orangey. I don't look like an Oompa Loompa, but maybe I would go for the medium shade instead next time. But the dark shade is nice to like, just be able to apply it once and get a deeper tan. So I do like that that about getting the shade dark. For applying it, I actually threw away my other um, tanning mitts. So I ended up just using a brush that I had already. This is a brush from the brand Best Bronze and this is a really soft brush. It is wet now because I did just rinse it off and get all that tanner out of it. But I used this to apply the tan. So it did take a little bit longer, but I actually feel like this did a great job at making it not streak. I feel like sometimes when I use a tanning mitt, I normally would get like a little bit of streaks sometimes, but I feel like this almost applied it better even though it did take a little bit longer to do. I feel like it just did a really good job at applying it. And I also feel like this self tanner was quite easy to work with. Even though it does dry down relatively quickly, it didn't get like pilly if I went over the same area more than once like some self tanners can do. So I feel like it was easy to work with and using this brush was actually quite nice and I feel like it helped to prevent streaks. It was especially nice for around here. It was definitely harder to get like my back area with this small brush, but I was able to do it. So I like this brush for that. You can get something similar to this on Amazon too, if you want to use a brush over a tanning mitt. Um, but I'll also see if I can find this exact one on Amazon. Otherwise I'll link a similar one, but overall I do like this. I think it's nice. I like that it has the natural DHA in here. I actually heard recently that DHA and other self tanners have been banned. Don't quote me on that. I think I've just kind of heard that. This has a 100% natural DHA and you can view the full list of ingredients on their website and they actually do have um, specific list of ingredients depending on which shade you get. So I think there are some slight variations with the ingredients depending on which shade you get. Now let's go back into the smell of this. So it says it has no bad smells. Um, so it is supposed to have that like fruity scent to it and it does have that fruity scent to it when you are first applying it You can smell that fruity scent. However, once it kind of sits on your skin I wouldn't say it's a bad smell But once it's all dried down and on your skin, it just kind of has that self tanner smell It's not terrible and it wasn't overly strong I've definitely tried other self tanners where that smell is more obvious and it's not the most pleasant So I wouldn't necessarily say that this has a bad smell once it's dried down on your skin but it definitely kind of has a little bit of that like self tanner smell if you know what I'm talking about but nothing overly bad nothing overly strong so not necessarily a bad smell but it still has a bit of that self tanner smell so overall I like this I will definitely continue to use this I think next time I might go for the medium shade I just feel like maybe this looks a little bit too dark on me maybe it looks a little bit unnatural but I mean I still feel like it looks pretty natural you tell me what you think I like it and I think it's easy to work with so that's pretty much all I want when it comes to self tanner I want it to feel lightweight on the skin I 
don't want it to feel super heavy and sticky while I do have it on. I don't want it to be a miserable experience while I'm waiting for the color to develop. So it did feel nice on the skin. It was lightweight. It didn't feel heavy or sticky. Um, I could feel it a little bit, but nothing super uncomfortable. They also do have a mitt that you can get to go along with it. So I'll link both on Amazon. I'll link both this individual product and I'll also link the one where it comes with a mitt as well. And I'll also link either this brush or a similar brush in the description box below. I like this. I would definitely recommend it. I think it's worth trying if you're looking for a self tanner with natural DHA in it. And if you like how this looks, I think it looks nice. If you do use any of the links in the description box below, they are affiliate links. It's no additional cost to you but if this video helped you out and is the reason that you do want to try out this self tanner it would mean so much to me if you would use the link in the description box below because it really does help to support my channel so that i can continue creating free videos for you guys here on youtube no pressure at all but thank you so much if you do use my link your support truly means so much if you have any questions about the self tanner definitely let me know in the comment section below but i really hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful if you did please let me know by giving me a thumbs up and if you want to see even more content from me in the future and you're not already subscribed to my channel i would absolutely Absolutely love it if you go ahead and subscribe to my channel but thank you so much for watching and i hope you tune in for my next video